Hello YouTube, my name is Bowtide Media. Today I have a review of Lontalius's album, Someone Will Be There For You. And before we really kick this off, I have to say, Lontalius is not my normal type of listen, for sure. I'm not sure where or when I exactly heard Lontalius for the first time, but I was sort of hooked and kind of just enticed by his somber love songs. And I've always sort of liked his really soft, timid vocal delivery. It's almost as if someone is always passively whispering to you. So I do video as a living and there is a film trick where you have a camera kind of placed above a subject looking down at them so it makes them look like they are weaker. I think Lontalius does this sonically with all of his vocal deliveries and production styles. He kind of is just asserting himself as the weaker person or an underdog. It's a really interesting take and I think makes him a little more unique from the other singer-songwriters out there. But this is a full-length album now for him, but it's sort of new and sort of not new. He came out with a side A EP back in 2020 and this whole album is just kind of two sides. There's a side A, which is the entire EP that was released before, and then side B with some new songs and a non-acoustic version of older songs. So it's definitely fair to say that this isn't a brand new album. Okay, so what does a basic Lontalius track sound like? Well, I think he follows a fairly basic format in terms of a singer-songwriter type style of song, but he also pretty much only uses three instrumentations throughout his entire discography, and that's his voice, a drum kit here and there, and a guitar, both electric and acoustic. He utilizes pretty much just these three types of instruments to produce love ballad after love ballad and heartbreak song after heartbreak song. And this album is no different. It tackles the kind of same ideas of relationships and emotions that, I mean, most singer-songwriter albums like this generally tackle. I don't personally listen to a ton of acoustic-driven or singer-songwriter style songs, and so Lontalius is honestly like a breath of fresh air for me personally. So while there are a lot of common themalities between what he is singing, it feels a little more fresh for myself. And while it doesn't resonate with me personally, I think the song Don't You Think I Do Enough is probably the best off of this project, in terms of production and narrative cohesion. It's a journey through Lontalius' struggle and hardships of finding love, particularly because he is gay. And from my understanding, the lyrics tell a story of Lontalius being in love with another guy who is in turn in love with another woman. It's one of the best individual storylines packed into an individual track here that also adheres to the overall narrative of the album of that kind of heartbreak relationships that I've talked about. But it's both this track and the final one, I walked right into it, that I think his production shines the most. While most of the track list here is slow and somber, these two actually kind of build into something that has a little more energy. And it's ultimately the build that drives home the lyrical narrative that he's trying to convey. These two tracks feel like they have more intensity and urgency to them, even though it's still fairly calm, and that little slow build throughout both really enhance that narrative. I walked right into it, that final track has the real only usage of a heavily distorted electronic guitar, and it works great for the track itself. It's actually my personal favorite from the album, and it doubles as a great send-off to the whole project. To not hear this level of distortion on a guitar or any really sound for that matter, for the whole album to only have it come crashing in on the final track is uh, pretty nice. It feels fairly epic for a relatively tame album. That driving distorted electric guitar and that build ultimately has those final lyrics paired with it that say, I couldn't get out, but I'm out now. Out of the heartbreak and into a good mental state. If this whole album is his experiences with heartbreak and lackluster love, this final track is him finally accepting and moving on from that state. In the end, while this doesn't really go into my palette of my regular listening on a weekly basis, I did enjoy it for what it was. Production-wise, there wasn't anything too incredible or amazing, innovative, and yeah, wasn't anything too insane with this project, but it did serve its purpose. In the end, Lontalius's Someone Will Be There For You will score a six. But thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Bowtide Media. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you, do you know who Lontalius is? Do you Have you ever heard of a track of his before? I'd love to know in the comment section below, and I'd love to continue this conversation. But that's been it for me. I'm Bowtide Media, and I will see you guys in another video.